Hey everyone and welcome to part 18 of Let's Clean a Pokemon Game. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over something that someone brought up before that I didn't really think about. Um, when we're actually transferring over a monster from our all monsters into our equip monster, there's a little bit of a problem with that that we are going to run into or that we have run into. So I'm just going to be addressing that in this tutorial and that is when you clone over a monster from a certain class array or any type of class to another variable. So let's say you have, like we did before, with our taking one of our all monsters and transferring it over to, let's say, a different variable like our equipped monster. Um, if we actually alter the stats of our equipped monster, it's going to affect the original stats of the all monster. So if we run into that monster again sometime, it's going to have the same exact stats that our current monster has which is something we don't want. We want to create a clone or a copy of that monster and put it into our variable for our equipped monster. Because from there, if we level up our monster and stuff, we want the chat, the stats to change just for our monster itself. We don't want to change the original stats of the monster saved. So if we go into like a, you know, a level one area where we got the monster originally and we're level, you know, I don't know, 50 or something like that, um, that previous monster is going to be level 50 with all our stats, which doesn't make any sense. It's, it's not how it works in the Pokemon universe or anything like that. So we want to change that monster to, you know, be just a clone, a copy that we can edit and we can change up and it can get all its own stats. So if you had multiple of that same monster and they have different levels, different stats, we don't want everything to, you know, be a parent of that and change um, the original or affect any of our other ones. So let's just jump right into it and I'll teach you guys how to fix this. So we're going to be creating a function called copy monster. We're going to be throwing it into the start function just because our, this is just for testing purposes right now. Um, we actually put the game together as a final copy. We're going to be changing up how this actually works but we want to get the basic features implemented and so we're going to need to set this up just for testing and making sure that everything functions correctly. Um, we will be adding a lot more to this because our, a, our monster equipped right now is just one single monster and for our game we're going to want to have you know multiple monsters because when we go into battle we want to call the first one or whichever one's not dead first and then go through the lineup if, if any other ones die. So we're going to be editing this later, not not currently, but yeah. So we're going to be calling this copy monster. Now I'll be showing you guys exactly what the copy monster does. What this is basically for is, like I said earlier, it's going to take that all monster that we call, so zero, so that's going to be the first monster in that array, and we're going to actually want to copy that instead of just, you know, transfer it over. So if we actually you know, did equipped monster equals all monsters zero, it would it would perfectly transfer over everything like we had before. The problem is if we edit the stats from our equipped monster, our new one, it'll affect the stats of our original monster, or all monsters, um, which I said before we do not want. So we are going to be creating a temp variable called just equipped monster equals new monster so we're pretty much making a blank variable from our monster class so these are all the variables of our monster class it'll get thrown into here and they'll all be blank there's going to be nothing on there but what we're going to be doing is taking this temp variable and applying which monster we want to actually add to it and what we're going to be doing from there is taking our monster equipped so this is our monster that's currently equipped. So what we're going to be doing is just transferring each stat into here. So we're going to need to grab each one of these stats and apply it from all monsters to our monsters equipped. So you can just imagine it like if we had two notepads and we're copying in one has a list of items and I'm just going through and I'm copying and pasting each one into our new notepad. And from here, if I edit the original with anything, let's say I edit the name to be like just something blank like A, 
and this one's A, but if I change this one to B, this one will still be A. Previously, if I transferred those over and I change this to C, the original would be C. So we don't want these either affecting either one, so that's why we're copying over these variables. Now I'm only going to do a few for now, just to give you guys an idea of how to do this. Um, I will go through and finish it in the future, or in the next tutorial, but I don't want this tutorial to take up too much time. So we do monster equipped dot name. So name is our first variable. So we want to say monsters equip dot name. So it's going to be the variable for that. Equals equip monsters dot name. So equip monsters this temp variable, and it's going to be grabbing variables from our all monsters, and we want to grab the name from that first monster, and we also want to grab the create HP and apply that. So, like I said, we're just transferring over the variables from one thing to the other. And so we'll do one for this new one. So we have name, create HP, and let's just do something else simple, um, like base attack. So if you want to change that, base attack, and we change this one to base attack. Now you just do this for each one, for each one of your variables plugged into here. So it's just going to be a long list. Later on, we will change this up to not just reference the this uh, the first monster. So if we capture something, we'll send over a variable to copy monster for which monster to copy and which slot to copy. So we'll be sending over two different variables for that as well to calculate into here and then send back and add the monster to either you know our equipped or we'll send them off to the PC. So. We'll save that, and I'll show you guys how it actually works in game. So if we click here on game, and originally it'll be maximized on play um, most of the time, you can uncheck that so we can actually view the stats over here. So we are going to click play, and you see we can still play and stuff, but we can also go in here and see our different variables changing. So I'm going to go to main, and I will scroll down here. And if you see, we'll drop this down. Um, here's our all monsters, and here's our first monster. Um, so zero is our first monster. Um, it's got all the different stats in here. And if you see our monsters equipped, it's just got the name, monster one. It's got 10 and five, which these ones are 10 and five for base HP and base attack. So those got transferred are fine. If you see, everything else is blank. And this is exactly what we want, because we haven't transferred all the stats from here to our equipped. Now, see, the cool thing about this is, and you guys can test this before you start the tutorial too, you can start it up, and you can go and change maybe your current HP of your monster equipped, and it won't change the original. I can name my monster like, um, I don't know, uh... Rar. And it doesn't affect the original. Um, usually, before you do this tutorial, and if you followed along for the previous tutorials, if you change this or any stats, it will, it will affect the original. So if you ever wanted to copy this monster over again, it will copy all the stats over, which we didn't want. We wanted to create copies of it. Now, since this is just, you know, loaded into code when we run it, when we um, exit out, it goes blank again. But you guys can see how it equips and you can change the stats.